In this video, we're going to see how we can um, conform an edit that was done in uh, Premiere. In this case, I'm working on a project that is 2997 and uh, with an HD deliverable. Uh, this was shot with um, uh, Panasonic GH4. It's a few educational videos I did about uh, UHD HDR uh, production a few years ago and it's a really good example of seeing how uh, with a camera that was shooting at 4k I delivered an HD mastered doing the online in Mystica and using obviously the resolution uh, the 4k resolution of the camera to uh, move and uh, pan for example and do camera movements with that uh, um, extra resolution that I had. So basically what we're going to see is how I can bring all the keyframes and all the edit changes that and uh, pan and reframes that I did in Premiere into Mystica Boutique uh, with an XML um, from Premiere. And basically what I've prepared here is a um, reference MOV file, an XML uh, export of my timeline, and uh, EDLs of um, uh, tracks 1, 2, and 3, just in case if the XML didn't work. Okay, So all this uh, is what we're going to import into Mystica. So first thing that we're going to do is uh, check if uh, Mystica is running at 29 frames per second. And uh, over here I could see that I'm using uh, the factory preset of 1920 by 1080. And if I go to master formats, I can see that my main frame rate is at 24. And if I change it here to 2997, then it's going to have the same time code that the edit that I've just done. I'm gonna press OK and then I'm gonna uh, go into Mystica. In Mystica what I'm going to do uh, first is logging uh, uh, with my user and I'm going to create a project to specifically uh, do this conform tutorial. I'm going to go to the project window and I'm going to create a new project. Um, Mystica uh, tells me which are the project settings that I'm currently using. I press OK and I'm going to say, OK, conform tutorial. And I'm going to press OK. And that creates. Um, my folder structure here I'm in data right now but if I go one level above we can see all the folders that Mystica creates and what I'm going to do here is actually uh, normally what I do with every project that I start in Mystica is um, move all the conform um, uh, uh, assets to uh, within the project so over here I'm just going to press Control X and I'm gonna go to um, my work folder which is in material work and I can see here conform tutorial and inside the import folder is where I'm going to drop uh, that folder so then all this media or everything all the EDLs XMLs and reference files will be contained inside uh, the project um, uh, this really depends on how you want to work. Maybe you want to uh, place this in another part of your storage. I really like this to be um, uh, carried over with a project if I back it up or archive it in the future. Um, next thing that we're going to do, first thing, I'm going to go back to my uh, home uh, folder here, is I'm going to link all the media that I'm going to use in this project. Okay. I'm going to open uh, split view 
and over here I'm going to navigate to another drive where I have my media so uh, first thing is I'm going to double click in D media and it's over here in this HDR folder where I have all the media and basically what I'm going to do then is just right click over the HDR folder and say import all media like we've seen in previous videos um, I'm here I'm going to be able to choose the clip name and the tape name this would be uh, very critical so if you've done any uh, clip name or tape name rules in your edit uh, you will need to be um, uh, actually quite thorough here to uh, do the same in this case I really used the clip names as they are uh, unique names uh, one thing that I do want to do is replicate the folder tree in case I need to fish something out of the media I can actually follow the same folder tree than I have in my drive and I'm just going to hit import I'm not going to click import and load because that will import and load into the timeline all the media that I have in that folder so I press import and Mystica will start scanning the files and creating the Ellen case, the links to use the source media directly. We'll speed up this process so uh, we can focus on all the conform features. Okay, so you can see here that in my data folder, Mystica has created the HDR folder. I'm going to close uh, this window now so we can focus on this one and if I go to HDR we can see that we have exactly the same folder structure than we had. It, I have uh, assets here with uh, GFX, I also have um, my rushes with a GH4 camera uh, separated in days and I also have some stock footage that I used in some of the videos that I did. Um, so now, next thing that we're going to do is I'm going to navigate to my import folder. Okay, I'm actually going to open it here and go to import and conform tutorial and I'm going to uh, double click the XML and this will open the conform XML options and uh, you can see it will uh, actually ask you where you want to conform this at what uh, time code you want to conform this and you could uh, get it from the list or just do 000 I'm gonna leave it at 000 um, I do want to include the um, effects from Premiere um, I really want to use all the reframes because I reframed my 4K footage into an HD, um, uh, an HD deliverable and I also use them to uh, pan and move the camera later on uh, during the edit so I do want to have that I'm going to flatten the XML effects but later on I'm going to conform this again without the XML effects um, uh, flattened you will see the differences of the two and you basically can decide how you want to work import all video tracks yes I do want to import all the video tracks and uh, search for media after the timeline import yes we want to do that okay what we do not want to do is do not link clips to media because we've already uh, linked the clips into our project so the the thing that we're going to do is I'm going to hit next and precisely because I've asked me, uh, Mr. Good to search for the media, I need to ask media to look for the LNK files, okay, that I just created uh, when relinking. And I need to point to the right direction there, which is in the HDR folder. I select the folder, and we could see here now uh, we also have the option of uh, match rules. And in any case, we, if we need to change anything here, like change the edit name, uh, obviously we want to use the TC. If we need to match the exact name of the clips, the edit name or the tape name, clip name, we'll have all those different options. You could also add more paths in case you've uh, done 
different uh, imports and imported um, files and uh, media in different moments you could add different paths here but in this case we have everything all in that HDR folder and I am just going to hit perform and that as we could see there now uh, it created a timeline now it's asking me to give it a name and I'm going to uh, say just conform Okay, I'm going to close this and um, for a second I'm going to close this as well and we can see here we have all our media conformed okay um, and we can see that everything is within groups because we did ask Mr. God to um, flatten all the effects what I'm going to do now is in this same timeline what I'm going to do here is reconform this and I'm gonna double click again the XML file and in this case I want to start the conform at uh, uh, 10 minutes so there we go just drag and drop there to drag uh, the time code information there to uh, minute 10 do not search for media after a uh, timeline import and then I'm going to hit uh, next here choose the right path where all my media is imported it's in the HDR folder as we saw previously and then um, okay but what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to relink um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to reconform uh, this timeline and I'm gonna just uh, hit double click here on this clip and I'm going to reconform this on a minute 10 okay so uh, Mr. Girl will uh, reconform uh, this same timeline uh, in the timeline that I have right now but it's gonna do it from uh, minute 10 in the time code in this case I do not want to flatten the XML effects okay we want to see uh, the difference between the two so I'm gonna press uh, I'm gonna take that off I do want to import all the video tracks and I do want to search for media after the timeline import I'm gonna hit next and choose uh, the path where the media hangs from which is uh, the HDR folder where I imported all the media and now once I have all this I'm just going to hit perform and we can see here now I'm gonna close my browser here how all the media has been imported into the timeline and we could see it there in our overview window how I have uh, the first time I conformed the media in uh, time code 00 and then one at minute 10 or we could see the two different options. I'm going to close the uh, overview window so we could see the differences of this. And uh, basically you could see that the um, main thing is we can see the framing effects directly from kind of our root timeline so we don't have to navigate in. So this is uh, one of the options that you have when you conform uh, XMLs and AAFs uh, from Avid, it would be the same option. You will have the option of flattening the effects that uh, are um, carried over in the XML or AAF files. This really depends on how uh, you work and how you've uh, done uh, the edit. In this case, I'm really interested in seeing uh, the framing effects because I've done a lot of reframe and I've done a lot of uh, pan movements. So I really want to see them um, immediately from uh, the first time I load uh, the timeline.